let's be honest when it comes to kids parents intentionally or unintentionally have their favorites the truth is they might not always admit it's loud but the fact still remains that there is always this particular child that is always for their parents and you know it's usually seen amongst last borns or the most intelligent ones or dull ones or the well-mannered you know these are some of the factors that can make parents to have favorites so you are watching me now as an adult and you're like okay does it really matter <laughs> Of course it does. So that's why we are going to be talking about it here on Just With Seven. Favoritism in families. So don't go. Patrick, how are you? Good to see you. I'm fine. Uh, do you know when I saw you and I saw your height, I'm like, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't even believe that you're that tall. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, today we, uh, we want to really talk about favoritism in families. Okay. And um, because I've seen it play out in families, I've seen it play out in everywhere. It's just that it happens everywhere, but then we are only streamlining it now to families and all of that. And um, I, I was just asking myself, what can actually be some of the factors, because I, I remember saying some of the things earlier that um, there are some factors like last bonds are, they, not all last bonds, mm -hmm. but some last bonds are tend to be seen as you know, favorite mm -hmm. and all of that, or maybe when a child is smartly intelligent, mm -hmm. parents tend to like concentrate on this particular child. But then I remember when I was talking to you and you're like, you're the favorite. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so now we have a favorite in the house who's going to tell us a whole lot of things about being favorite mm -hmm. in a family. So what are those factors? Because you actually a typical example so sometimes uh reason cannot i could just i could clearly say that you understand it can come it can come in in various ways you understand probably at some point when it comes to family and all of that you are so very supportive and all of that if you really can actually come it's not just the fact that you're actually brilliant brilliant at some point you understand at so maybe some some friends you know actually, actually reference africa or probably like the, the culture, you understand, actually brings out all of these things there, you understand. But in my own case, you understand, <laughs> I, as, I, as I said, you understand, in my own case, you understand, when it comes to issues with dealing with the family, you understand, I'm always there to support a lot of that. Oh. Even with the leads who I have, you understand, I actually come out to support, okay, this is what I have to give. But sometimes, even when they actually come, I say, okay, I don't have, you understand. So, with that so much relationship I have with, with my parents and all of that, they begin okay, yes. These these are true son and all of that. You oh, understand? really? So uh, your, yours was about personality. Yes. That's how I say it right now. Okay, good. Because um I I was also I also discovered something when it comes to some of the reasons why parents can choose a particular child. You know cases when a, 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 a parent will feel like, ah, this one is my photocopy, this one looks <laughs> like me, we share the same values and yeah. all of that. And the, I, I've come to also understand that parents are not even aware, some parents are not aware that they are consciously making this one their favorite. And they don't even think about how the other feels. Yes, That's uh, wrong. Yeah. And I sometimes I, I'll even I'll come to that. Like cases how your your, your how your your siblings, your other siblings saw the way it happened. But I I just want to make a point in the sense that values, for example, let's say you are the father and you see a son that is also into He's sports so like you do, that can make them bond. You understand? You're always talking about football. Maybe Chiamaka. I don't know why I'm using Chiamaka. So no offense. Though. So Chiamaka is not really a sportive kind of person. And she's always very scared of coming close to the father and all of that. And I believe that even this father should streamline it. Like, yes, this guy like loves sports and I love sports. We have similarities. We have values. It's also very important for you to find out other values that you are connected with when it comes to your other kids. Mm -hmm. It goes a long way so that these children don't grow up having another mindset. Even external factors. You know, I've seen cases like siblings go out and a lady from nowhere <laughs> just picks 
interest in a particular child like it can even be the last born it can even be yeah. anybody and then ah this one is so brilliant yeah. you know the way and the other siblings are there and the mother too is also there and the other ones are feeling left yeah. out so it's it's not nice and funny enough i've actually i've actually witnessed a situation i went by you understand? You know, I, as I said, I was, I was, I was staying in Lagos. Okay. Yeah, um, I was staying, I, I was staying at the barracks there, Queens Barracks there, and Papa there. Okay. Then, then my, my dad was a policeman there. So my neighbor there, she actually, she gave birth to a very beautiful um, girl. You understand? So at some point, beauty actually comes in if you're very, if there. You understand? So it like, was not on my I, case. I, 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 <laughs> but at some point, then you understand? I witnessed it, and you're like, the lady just walked bump to to her like I, I like it's your daughter because of because of how beautiful she is you understand mm. she started visiting her she, she buy her clothes and all of that so the those other were like they were like so mommy I'm, I'm ugly now at some point they're like no <laughs> so those things actually kiss out a lot of it but and the thing is that you can't you can't you can't take away those things away you understand it comes, it comes, you understand, it goes, it goes, you understand. But there are ways I feel parents can actually deal with that, you understand, not making them feel so very, so very bad, you understand. So, as I say, mm. now, when, when, we're, when we're growing up, I was not one of the most smartest, the brilliant among all. But at some point, you understand, just because of I have... I have this. There was something about you that mommy loves so yeah, much. Yeah, you understand. I was not. I was. I was probably when it comes to house chairs, I was lazy and all of that. Yeah. But at some point, I was when I was growing and up. And I yeah. think you were also stubborn. Were you stubborn? I was not even stubborn. I was just there. So let's say you were easy going. I was just easy going, just from being with you understand and all of that. Yeah. I think parents like it's when a child doesn't really give them issues. Yeah. yeah, but uh, when it comes to your siblings, but you're also giving your parents issues. None of them, or uh, Joseph, my friend. Uh, okay, you know. good. So <laughs> <laughs> that's understandable yeah, right now. It's, it's so very stubborn anyway. But at some point, you understand. I just feel like you understand. As we're actually growing up, then maturity comes in. You understand. Do I handle issues and all of that? Do I coordinate my things and do I plan my things? Actually, talks more about. Me in particular, you understand. I always look out for a way that okay, how this family, how we're going to grow in the other aspect of life. You understand. I always want to bring okay. This this thing is actually disturbing us. Why not look out for solution to all of this? You understand. So these are just the major factors. You understand. So actually, boil down you our probably our parents' attention. Like okay, yeah, this guy is actually making sense. You understand. For look at it, he's actually bringing something to the table. Which the those the senior ones they are not actually bringing up, you understand. So these are actually the little things that can draw out our parents' attention. You understand. I I, I kind of get you, but you know, uh, no, no matter how we see this, the truth of the matter is that the 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 effects. The resultant effect is always negative when it comes to um, parents choosing a particular child as favorites. Okay. Uh, it's just um, maybe let's say few few family members tend to understand because mm -hmm. even though I I know that it's not just um, parents that have favorites, even siblings also have Absolutely. favorites yeah. as well. And um, it tends to the part like okay, when this one is more respectful and and this one listens to me, so I think I'm very okay with this particular one. But then again, um, parents, even kids also have their favorite mom or their favorite dad, especially when in a house of conflict, the father is always beating the mother. Okay. So these kids tend to even prefer their mother over their father, father and just have this deep resentment in them. Like when I grow up, I'm going to do this to daddy. I'm going to do that to daddy. <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. Right. So I, I feel it's general, like favoritism happens everywhere and in everything. But they, they, there is one part I need to really to make you understand that, okay, everything can come in through, through my public siblings. Maybe I may be more closer to my last one. You understand? The husband may have been more closer because probably if he tells me something, as part of that, nobody will hear, nobody will hear the secret from me. Like, no, mom's, mommy won't, won't hear, probably Popsy won't be going to hear. Yeah, that's yeah. the relationship I want to do. Yeah, so these are things I feel, okay, can actually just call me because probably can keep secret and all of that. It's very reserved, you understand? But if I tell, uh, if I tell, Eddie, Eddie will just blow out everything. So that is why. It still boils down to values. Anyway. <laughs> so these are things I just like, okay, well, 
but then looking at the effect it has it has done on people i i know about a certain time when i i felt like my mom i i really celebrate her on that aspect because it's hard for you to say that my mom prefers this person or oh, this is my mom's favorite it's very difficult he's my dad that is very he's so unapologetic about it last one is last one he's my own like see if you touch him you've touched my bone marrow that kind of a thing so but then we i i experienced the fact that okay because this is the the, the 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 favored one there are so many things that it tends to done on people like it affects your your self-esteem your self-worth yeah. yes it will not really make you to feel like you can offer a lot especially when uh, this one is doing the right thing and you're always being blamed of not doing the right thing like pressure will come trying to, like you're trying to please everybody please mom and dad so that you also be in their good book so the effect uh, it's it disengages this bond when it comes to families and if parents would really understand that it is very harmful it causes unhealthy relationship amongst siblings and it makes them separate and they tend to even vet the anger on the favored one so that they don't even yeah, well, I, well, I <laughs> but, so, but your siblings sorry to cut you like are there chances where they started reacting to you simply because you were the most favored one um well there are some point where they want to react hey, you are mommy's boy you understand and i don't feel like okay i'm mommy's boy no wahala you understand let me just go with it but the thing about the the thing about things because like, when me and my mom were talking about it i actually told her that okay you see the comparison thing you understand it kills good it kills it kills it kills their soul yeah you understand it kills that so if, if if for instance now the other person have intention of doing that thing for mm. you but because of the fact that you have already compared this person to this person mm. don't feel like okay let, let me do rest now let this guy just do everything i've been saying he's the one yeah, doing yeah, let him let, continue, let continue. and those yeah. if, even if i do i will not be recognized recognized mm. so at some point there i actually just talked to her look at mom these are things you need to do these are things and things you just need to put in place so that everybody will be carried along mm. don't be like so did it work it worked you understand? Wow. So at some point now, this period now, even when I was going, you know, like even had to call like, Joe, how are you? I is Lagos and all that. You're like, oh, okay, mommy. I say yes. I'm not sorry. I'm so not you like, see, it's because you you were able to tell your mom the truth and for her to carry other people along. Mm -hmm. So what about others that don't even care? I don't understand. I don't have time to start explaining to my siblings that I'm the favorite and it's not my fault. I can't deal with it. Even mom to don't even have mom and dad don't well, have time to start. Well, can explaining. I? Can I? Can I? Can I just? Simple into the culture, you know. Uh, when I say culture, the aspect of the evil, sorry. Okay, <laughs> this is you're calling evil. So what did they do? No, I'm just saying because the the thing of um, for them to have their, they, they they just feel like okay, the rising come in the aspect of their culture. You understand? I could probably okay this lady give birth to just skills alone and, and just one particular but i don't know if you are yeah, yeah okay that can also yes yeah, yeah. yes so yes they, like, they give so much love to to it's not just evil it yeah. happens especially in a family that is really in high demand for a male child yes yeah. it happens so, so I don't call it evil yeah, like no, I, mean, I, would, I would just i would decide to just throw it because at some point even my even my neighbor understand that some point they were actually looking for this part this boy this boy must come outside <laughs> <laughs> this boy must come outside because no the, the, the thing now comes comes in now now the, the boy finally came out now the love that i was actually showing to probably the, the, the girls you understand actually everything focus on that particular boy you understand the boy needs this you have to give it to him the boy needs it, you have to give it to him mm. so now those girls are like okay because i'm not a boy and then the phrasing now those boys are just the boy alone so we are not so we are not being recognized and all of that there so these are the things i feel should actually just key key out yeah that's why as i said culture when it comes to tourism, actually, it's playing its own impact also there when it comes to culture. It's true. I, I quite agree with you. You know, I was actually making, I, I saw a recent study which says that 85% um, of adults know that, like, they are very much aware that their parents have favorites, okay. which are their siblings. Mm -hmm. You understand? And if it's 85%, that means the thing is that it is a reality that has really done on people mm -hmm. and people should really understand that 
it is normal to have favorites but it is not normal to like you know put it on their faces especially when you you know that these are siblings and these are families their love or relationship should be balanced it's not don't don't you talked about um how did you what did you even say we talked about comparison that comparison. that can kill. kill it can make someone depressed Rest. it can cause mental mm -hmm. health it can even cause siblings never to be in a relationship and let me tell you siblings are, are when, like their relationship are just magical they are very supportive so if you leave like lose that kind of relationship and you're expecting to get it elsewhere i don't think it's really that um possible but there was something my, my brother did because i did, he did a similar thing you did which was um um the moment my dad was always preferring him for everything and all of that and most of us are like, we started avoiding him mm -hmm. not for anything but because you can get us into trouble and the next thing is that we'll be we flocked for it we'll be beaten and you're you're the free, you just get freed and all of that but then he came to me i was like i don't know why everybody's avoiding me and all of that i had to sit him down i spoke poke sense into him it's not like we don't but the truth is we don't want to get in trouble so what you do is that whenever daddy because my daddy was always doing that like buying things and all of that if he buys i you you have the younger ones that have like a year or two years yeah. age bracket yeah. you can always share with them you can always bond yeah. whether they like it or not they will love, love it but bond with them and anytime someone is trying to go into trouble just help just solicit and all of that and before you know it you're in everybody's it's good book so you don't look like you are the bad egg everything that is just happening it's just gonna be like that and, another thing I, I feel like our parents should actually work out is that um, when it comes to favorism then you understand I, now the thing is that they, they now a lot of people take advantage of it whereby now the love that's supposed to be shown to her you understand now mm. somebody outside is not taking the love away from us so wrong advice can actually just come in then actually scatter the family you yes so that was the, the external factor fact i was, was talking, talking about. about so these are the things i feel you, you understand just just try to manage it even though you have so much love but don't let that person know that okay this love I have for just you, but there's way you can just do it, you understand? Then everybody will just be okay and everybody will just be all right. Because if you allow an outsider to come in, then trust me, they will not feed up with so, so much nonsense, you understand? I know they, you start getting so much very bad attitude from her, you understand? That's true. So it kills out family and all of that there. So these are, these are things and things I feel they should actually just, to just kill out and all of that there. Good. Yes, to even add up to what you're saying, you know, one of the ways I think they can actually cope this is, um, first of all, be aware, like self-check, check yourself and find out if the way you, you react to your children, are, are they differently? Are you biased in your decision or your discipline to them? Okay. So if you, if you can actually tell yourself the truth, that's the moment you can work things out and try to listen to them. I use the word listening because children already have a lot of things going through their minds. So this is a point. If you're doing this, give them reason the reason why is like i'm always with your brother is that he's not he's always sick so but then that doesn't mean you're not important, important you know yeah. carry them along and all of that yeah, so when you yeah. listen and you always tell them i love all of you equally if you say that you mean it just like i don't want to say something <laughs> if you say it you mean it you act That's it same. and basically just bond there is nothing like bonding everybody should just bond for me though that's what i feel and i know that when people actually work things out this way it's really gonna help as, as for me you understand i feel parents should actually just try to work out some few things you understand because that thing alone can actually destroy family and all of that mm. kills probably um, siblings self-esteem you know and all of that there so they just feel like okay i'm less important so this other person is so very important and all of that there so i feel these are things and things i feel parents should actually work out you understand if i feel this person is not coming up to why not she you understand just drag her you understand let her know okay what are your problems you feel like we, could, we can actually mm. adjust to so trust me if you have so much love and ah trust me she will want to split out everything it's true anyways that is all we have for now because of time we really have to go thank you so much patrick so you guys have heard it all favoritism it's 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 normal but then it should be balanced based on awareness listening to anybody or your kids and also affirming to them and bonding so that's about
here on Just with 7. Thank you for joining us on this edition. Do well to join us next week for another edition of Just with 7. Bye. <laughs>